you welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we shall consider the construction of the line of intersection and the development of two unequal cylinders a and b which is given in the diagram now the first thing is to draw the given diagram so start with the bigger cylinder which is cylinder b then we will now draw the smaller cylinder which is cylinder A. The dimension of the base of the cylinder is 50 mm. Then the height of the cylinder is 100 mm. Now from this we have the distance from the top to this point which is 30 millimeter then the angle here is 45 millimeters and the distance there is 40 millimeter we we'll draw the perpendicular line to that point draw the line at the midpoint here so after drawing this we're going to start so here we want to draw the plan so at this point we'll draw the base of the larger cylinder then also we'll draw the extension of the smaller cylinder so extend this line here and extend the center line so now from this point we do the division into six divisions that starting from the left hand side we start with zero one two three then after doing that we project the lines this way so that it will get into the larger cylinder then we also project the line from this point down to the plan from the front elevation they will also draw here also the semicircle at this point so that when we do our projections we can be able to connect so that we will see the exact view of our front elevation and the plan so now we at this point we'll extend the line from where it is touching the plan up to the front elevation so we we'll start our connection from the tree that's this point to this point here we we'll connect it so it will give us the line of intersection on the front elevation so after doing that we we'll use a French curve to connect it at this point or any other flexible curve to connect it which will give us the required curve of intersection at this point the lines that were projected down from the smaller cylinder we're going to connect it on the plan so there it will give us the actual view of the face of the smaller cylinder in the plan view so now we connect where the lines meet at the required point after doing this we connect the curve and make it dark make it bold so the next thing is to darken it so after doing this we move to the next aspect which is the development of the cylinder 
the smaller cylinder so we extend the base line here so after extending the line here we get the division which is this semicircle that we did the equal division let's take like one to two that's how we did to get this division and produce the perpendicular line and divide the line into 12 equal parts then where they meet the at the point of intersection you extend it to this place that we've drawn it as you're seeing so after doing that we get the point where they meet each of them that's starting from zero where they meet up to 12 even though you might be wondering it's just zero one two three but it's the zero one two three it's also a repetition it can be zero to six which is an extension up to 12 so now we've gotten the development of the smaller cylinder now move to the bigger cylinder at this point we also divide the face of the cylinder into 12 parts and each of the division we use to spread it to get the development of the larger cylinder but the point where we're interested in is at the point six so now the other point of the end there that's where we are going to get the sixth point so now the division on the plan view we're using that to get the required point on our development that's where the point of intersection is on the larger cylinder so getting the distance from the center of smaller circle which is the a b and c after getting it we'll transfer the same length from that plan to the development of the larger cylinder in order to get the actual point where the the cut is so now we at this point we extend we project the lines here so that they will go and meet the point a b c so where they meet at each of the points a b and c that's where we'll start so from the center now then move to a then on to b then on to c the first set then in the upper set that way then we've gotten where the cut is on the larger cylinder okay so that's all thank you for watching this tutorial ensure to subscribe to this channel for more videos